Good morning, I'm Miss Goodman. This is Fair Oaks Elementary School, first grade classroom. This is Katie English, the ILC for our school. This morning we are talking about habitats and the needs of animals. Can you guys repeat after me? I can, I can tell, the needs tell the needs of animals and people. Of animals and people. Who can remind me what are the needs of the animals and people that we have talked about? Um, there's one giraffe and there's more different animals. There are different animals that we are making habitats today, but what are the needs of these animals that we have talked about? Water. Water is one. Well, we did talk about sleep. We do need sleep. But what are the four main ones that we have talked about? We said water, food, food air, air shelter. and shelter. Yes. So Miss English and I made our own habitat for a weasel. Remember, in, on Friday we started this. We did a little sketch of our weasel, their habitat, and the things that they need. Remember, the needs we just talked about need to be in their habitat when we build them today. So some of the notes that we took, remember we used iPads and we used books to find some of the needs and the habitats, the habitat needs um, of our animals. We picked a weasel. So we found out that weasels live in lots of different habitats. They live in farmlands and woodlands. Weasels eat small rodents and they live by lots of water. So what do you think are some things that we added to our habitat? If these are the facts that we found out. Yes, because they live in farmlands and woodlands, so we did add trees. We sketched some trees. What else do you think we added to our habitat? Um, grass. Okay, maybe some grass. What are some things that we said that they need? Think about the needs of our animals. Can you help her out? Water. Water, yes. We wrote that they live by lots of water, so we definitely put like a little pond or a lake in our habitat. Anything else you think we added? What did it say that we, what they eat? Weasels eat small rodents. Do you guys know what a rodent is? Rodents are like mice or rats or small animals like that. So do you think we might add those to our habitat? Yes, because remember our habitat provides our needs. So I'm gonna show you guys the example that we made. You guys saw it last week too, but I'm going to show you again. Here's a big picture of it. This is what it looked like. We used straws to help our trees stand up, because remember we said that they lived in farmlands, or farmlands and woodlands. We added food. We added a body of water right here, because remember our needs are food, water, shelter, air. Where do you think a small animal like this might live? What would its shelter be? Yeah, maybe in a tree or underneath some wood. So we added some wood down here. We used tape. You guys are going to have all these supplies at your tables to use on your habitats. Okay. Are there any questions about what you might want to add? Braylon? Yeah, we'll have some pine needles and some sticks for you to use. We'll also have pipe cleaners. Let me grab one so you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll have different colored ones. Miss English brought a lot of different colored pipe cleaners for you guys to use. What might you be able to use these for? Chiron, what do you think? Um, the back of the tree. Yeah, maybe the back of the tree because if you guys look at ours, we use straws to help ours stand up, right? So we got creative. We also put straws on the back back to help it stand up. Okay, you guys have straws at yours too. And pipe cleaners. Yeah, these could be branches. They could be <coughs> twigs. They could be whatever you want. Like arms too. Yes, like arms too. Okay. But what things do you need to make sure your habitat has when we build it? What do you think? Water. Yes, water. Our needs. So what else? If we have water, what else would we need? Mm -hmm. Food. So when you did your research on Friday, a lot of you guys found out what the food was that your animals eat, so they definitely need to have that in their habitat. Jason, what else? Shelter. Yes, shelter, wherever they like to live to keep them safe. Air. And air. Do we need to draw air or make air? No. No, no. We just, we don't need to see it. Is yeah, we're going to make our habitat. So you guys have two pieces of construction paper at your station where you're working. Yeah. I gave you guys probably a color that you would want to use. So if you, one of my groups I know, Lejean and... Amira are making or have a manatee. So what color construction paper do you think you guys are going to want or use? Blue. Why blue? Because it's water. 
Yeah, because they live in the water. All right. So any more questions before we start building our habitat? Miss English and I are going to walk around and help you guys. But any other questions before we start actually building it? I gave you two types of tape. No. On the ruler, you have scotch tape, which is a clear one, and masking tape in case you need it. Okay. You can ask for more if you need some. Okay. Okay. So you have tape, straws, pipe cleaners, construction paper. We'll still be able to use iPads and books if you guys want to do some more research. Any questions about how we're going to build our habitat? No. All right, I'm going to leave this example up here for you to look at, and I put the list of needs that you guys need to have in your habitat. Food, water, their shelter. Do you need to make anything for the air, do you think? No. No, you can just, you don't need to make anything for that one. But these are the needs of your animal. Miss English and I are going to walk around and help you guys, okay? Our example is also up here if you want to come look at it to get some ideas, okay? But remember, you're working together. Okay. So what's your animal again? <coughs> a penguin. So Jason wasn't here on Friday. Can you explain to Jason some of the things that you found out about a penguin? Yeah. They eat small fish. You're right. Where do they live? Can you tell Jason what their habitat might look like? What animal do you have? Yeah, in the Arctic or the North Pole. You're exactly right. So is it cold or warm there? Tell her about a Yeah, it's very cold. So what do you think your habitat might look like if it's very cold? If it lives in the trees, what else? Okay, so there might be some cold wind going through. There might be some ice and snow. Yeah, what do you think you might use to make some ice and snow? They do have big beaks, okay? What color pipe cleaners do you guys might want? This is and I printed out for you. Do you think yellow would be helpful? Up. Okay. No, what color? Because so remember, we can switch our colors out. You can color Green white. Paper. Would you guys like some white pipe cleaners too? No, what do you think too? we could use these for? Okay, then I'll go grab some for you guys. The, the branches, yep. Good job. So she's coloring the giraffe. What are you thinking about? What do you think you're going to use or do to build your habitat? <coughs> draw some trees because what did you find out that giraffes like to eat? Um, leaves. They like to eat and they, leaves. Um, they bend down to get water. They bend down to get water, yeah. So do they need water in their habitat? Yes, they do. I love this sketch that you guys drew. And I know where they live now. They live in grassland. They do live in grassland. Do you guys want to try to make your habitat stand up first? Yeah. Before you draw anything? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to go give these to Honesty and Jason. I'll be right back to help you guys make your habitat. Yeah, fold it in half like hamburger. Awesome. Oh, oh, careful. Does this look even? Match up your corners. It's a little bit hard to color the giraffe. A little bit. Just take your time because I want these to look beautiful. There we go. How do you think you might make this stand up with the supplies that you have? Okay, maybe the... And the shawl. All right, try to make it stand up. I'll be right back. We're going to make some grass too with this. So how do you think you might use these? Oh, to make the ground? Because what would be on the ground in the Arctic? Snow and ice. Do you guys want some blue ones too? Okay. What color blue? We've got dark blue, we've got light blue. Okay. Because they definitely need what? If they eat fish, how do they get the fish? They dive in the water. Yes. So you definitely need to have water. Remember, you can bend them too to make them fish. So look. I'm going to take one and I'm going to show you. You can bend it up, maybe like twirl it to make it look like water. You guys want to try? And then I were to glue it down. Doesn't that kind of look like water with waves in it? What do you guys think? It looks like a whirlpool. No, you're doing awesome. Yours actually looks better than mine because you made it tighter. Okay, I think all right, I'm going to go check on my other friend. You guys keep working. Oh, awesome job using your straws to make yours stand up. What can you do if these look a little too long? Yes, you could cut them. Do you guys need scissors? Do you have scissors? Yes, you could cut it. 
So I gave you guys a little toucan. Do you remember what a toucan looks like? Too dark. Look, here's our book. Here it is. That's all right. You can get it after. Do you think you could help by coloring this toucan nice and neat? What color is his beak? Gray. Yes, orange and black. So you can go ahead and try to color him. Yeah. So what do you think he's sitting on right here? On a branch. So what do you think your habitat definitely needs to have? Well, what's a branch on? A tree. Yes, a tree. So you definitely need to have trees. How could you make some trees? This kind of looks like something to me. You gotta put a lot of leaves on it and then you gotta... Like the tree trunk, you mean? Okay. Does this kind of look like a branch? Yeah. Yeah? So do you guys want some brown construction paper maybe to make a tree? Or do you want to try to make a tree out of these? Yeah. How about this color? Does that work? Well, what color do you want? Do you want the dark brown? Do you guys want a piece of brown construction paper to try to make a tree trunk like we did? Do you guys want to see our habitat? Because remember, our weasel lived in woodland. I can do it. Can I do it? See? How about I cut it? We made our trees. How do you want me to cut it? Mariah. We made our trees out of construction paper and we made them stand up with stuff. Cut it in half or do you want it? Do you guys want to try to make them like this or do you want to try a different way? Okay, let me grab you some construction paper. Can I your scissors? Okay, so we have finished making our habitats. I'm gonna let my friends talk about their habitats a little bit. So what's your guys' habitat? Apollo and Alani. A giraffe. You made a habitat for a giraffe. What are the giraffe's needs? Water. Water, I see you have water down here. What is his food? Leaves and apples. Leaves and apples. Awesome. I'm gonna try to make him stand up. Apollo, hold it real quick. Awesome. Good job. Awesome. Whoop. All right, you guys sit down just a second. Araya and Amaya, what was your guys' animal? Uh, a, toucan. a toucan. You guys made an awesome habitat. What What are some of the needs of the toucan? Uh, okay, what does it eat? <laughs> what did you guys make? Fruit. fruit, yes, I see you guys made some fruit out of some pipe cleaners. And there's his water down there. Where's his shelter? It's in the forest. It's in the trees, in the forest, yes. Awesome job, you guys, it looks great. All right, step down. Honesty, Jason, what was your guys' animal? A penguin, I see your penguin right here. I'm gonna tilt it like this. Awesome. What is this stuff you guys made? Water. Some water, because what does the penguin eat? Fish, yeah, so it's got to get in the water. What's this up here, the white? <coughs> the, the ice and the snow. Awesome job. I see you guys drew the fish right there. What's this cool thing you guys made? Uh, snow. Yeah, snow. You, I remember Jason saying he wanted to make an ice bridge, so that looks awesome. And he's floating in the water. Oh, he's floating in the water. Awesome job. Amira and Lajon, what was your guys' animal? A manatee. A manatee. What do they like to eat? I see his food down here. Leaves and water plants, yes, I see. Don't they eat a lot of food? Yeah, they eat a lot of food, so you guys made a lot of food, awesome job. What are these things you guys made? These look awesome. Trees, awesome. Very cool, good job, you guys. All right, guys, everybody look at the camera. Smile. Bye. <laughs>